Assalamualaikum guys, welcome back to my channel. So before we get started on today's recipe, I just wanted to apologize that I've been so MIA. We're in the process of moving and finding a place and stuff, so a lot of changes are happening here. So I just haven't been consistent in filming because it's been so hectic. Uh, that being said, I have a very, very, very delicious chicken wing recipe for you guys and whenever I'm sad the one thing that cures it is a good chicken wing and um, it's been a gloomy day it's been a gloomy here so I'm gonna share with you my chicken wing recipe with some Asian style sauce and so please stay tuned for that and if you have been here with us throughout this journey I thank you so so much and if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe comment like all that good stuff and inshallah um, we'll catch you guys very soon by soon I mean in the next clip when I start cooking. Bye! I have cleaned and cut and I'm just letting out all the moisture just on some paper towels. I'm gonna split these into two. Now I have two sets of chicken wings and I'm gonna season them all the same. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of black pepper, about half a teaspoon on each of them half a teaspoon of garlic powder of pink salt those spices then so for the chicken that I am frying I'm not going to add any more sauces so I'm just gonna let this marinate in the salt pepper and garlic powder um, in the refrigerator for a little bit just try to coat it all up Things that we're baking, I'm just going to be adding a, oh, sorry, a little bit of soy sauce, just a tiny bit, and I'm going to be putting a little bit of this chili garlic, which I'm also going to be adding to um, my sauce that I'm making. So that was about a teaspoon of both, and we're just going to give this a good toss. And so I'm going to marinate both the wings um, in the refrigerator for about an hour and then I'll catch you guys when I start cooking. I have taken my chicken out of the refrigerator. It's been about an hour. So I'm just going to just, it's real time guys, really sealed it in. I have our chicken here. And so I'm just going to dust it with, this is half a cup of cornstarch. Just put half a cup of cornstarch in there. And then I have one fourth cup of just plain all-purpose flour. And I'm just going to be adding a little bit of garlic powder to this. Powder, but you can do paprika if you prefer. I'm just gonna give this a gentle mix, just like that, to take our chicken. Just use your hand, and we're just going to pack it in to all that flour. So just want it nice and tight, nicely coated, and then dust off any excess flour and And then we're just going to set it aside um, and move on to the rest. This ginger garlic. I'm just gonna add in our ginger garlic. In here, sizzle. I 
I just want this to brown a little bit and then I'm going to add in some scallions. So. And so I'm just, I have some sliced up scallions. I'm going to put a bit in there. I'm going to save some for garnishing. I just want this to fry up a little bit before we add the sauces. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to get my oil ready to fry my chicken. I'm just going to add some dried chilies in there, but you absolutely do not have to do this. And then into that, I'm going to put in a teaspoon of this chili garlic paste. You can use uh, sriracha if you prefer, but I really like the taste of this. My garlic is starting to brown and the ginger is starting to brown. It smells amazing. So to this, I'm going to add some soy sauce. I'm going to put about one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. And then I'm going to put about two tablespoons of the sweet chili paste, uh, sweet, sorry, sweet chili sauce, about two tablespoons, I'm just going to give this a good mix, and I'm going to add in some water to this, I'm going to put a third cup of water for now, but I am going to add more water later. So we are just going to let this come to a simmer. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic hoisin in there as well. The garlic hoisin and so about a tablespoon and a half. The garlic hoisin and the sweet chili sauce will really bring out the sweetness in this dish and then it'll balance out the spice from the chili. Okay, so I'm going to lower my fire to a simmer. Add a pinch of pink salt. more saucy you can um, add more water and so I'm gonna add a little bit more water in here and I just used the same cup that I used for my cornstarch so it still has like those traces of cornstarch in there so we're just gonna let this simmer on very low done and if I feel like adding anything else to it I will so I'm just gonna let this simmer I have my oil here it's heating up the best way to check if your oil is ready is just to use a wooden spoon and if you see it bubbling around the spoon that means your oil is ready so this is almost ready oh a piece of flour escaped it's really important not to let your pan get crowded um, so I am just gonna grab my chicken that I have, dust any excess oil off, and just slowly lay it in there and it starts to bubble. So I think I'm gonna do about five or six pieces in here. they've sealed in just move them around so that they don't get stuck to the bottom so we're looking for a really nice golden brown color here
So my chicken is fried and I just got it out of oil. So I'm just going to sprinkle it with a little bit of salt. Um, just like this. And I'm just going to give it a good toss. The best time to salt fried chicken is right after it's out of the oil. So I did double fry these. You don't have to. This was just my preference. And I have my sauce that I just kind of turn the fire back on. And I'm just going to drop my chicken in. Just like that. We just want to get this nice and coated. I'm just going to grab my spoon. Just give this a light toss. Hear how crispy that chicken is. Oh, so good. This is best eaten right away so that the, the chicken is still nice and crispy. So good. I did save some of the sauce for my baked chicken, which I'm going to make a little bit later. earlier. watching this video as I made these delicious crispy it smells so good Asian style chicken wings I would have loved to put some sesame seeds on top if I had some but that's okay these are gonna be amazing just like this and if you like this video don't forget to like comment subscribe share and help us reach our goals and I'll catch goals and I'll catch you guys next time inshallah. Assalamualaikum